when we're talking about that rolling aspect, we're down the line, we want you to try and feel like we're going to prevent everything rolling behind that, that cane on your stance line. Yeah. Back in two. Yeah. So P2 and beyond, as the right arm starts to bend and the turn continues, everything can continue to start moving behind that line whilst working upwards. Yeah. So the inwards and upwards you're trying to match yeah. up. Now, if the club was very short, that's quite easy to do. Yeah. As the club gets longer, that becomes a little bit harder to do. Yeah. So you, give that some consideration. So you're yeah, looking yeah. at your driver swing versus the wedge swing. Yeah. Yeah. The more the, the shorter the club, the more over it you are, the more angle you've got between your left arm and the shaft. Yeah. Okay? So that means if you turn on a tilted angle, it looks like this. Yeah. Now, if the club got longer, and you turn on the same tilted angle, yeah. it starts to look like that. Yeah. So the inward is going to be more easier prominent to yeah, yeah, and yeah. easier to create with yeah. the longer club than it is with the shorter club and vice versa. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, so they, they look slightly different between yeah. eight iron, five yeah. iron, drive. You did a pretty good job on that last swing of controlling that.